is for uh, the people that have purchased Calico Marketing brochures. So the very first thing you're going to notice is that it came to you in a zip file. There is a link on there. Go ahead and click on that link. It's going to make you download a, a zip file here. So when you're done with that zip file, uh, I suggest copying it and pasting it or just dragging it over into your desktop right here so that you can work on it. We're going to double click on it and uh, then you're going to choose which one you're going to do. So for instance, today I am doing a publisher tutorial. So I'm going to take this publisher uh, folder and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drag it onto my desktop like this. So I just grabbed it and I pulled it directly onto my desktop. So that's going to unzip the file. So you can't actually um, edit anything within the zip file because it is compressed. So you're going to have a lot of problems if you try to do this where you go to save and it says read only. So that's why we're pulling this folder directly onto the desktop right there. So now we're going to open up the publisher file. You'll see here it has uh, the listing and the brochure and then the font. So we're going to open up the font and then the very first thing you want to do is you're going to want to hold shift, select them all, right click and hit install. And that's going to install all of the fonts for you. So if it says you already have the font, you can either yes or no, it doesn't honestly really matter. I obviously have them already installed on my computer, so I just hit no but um, that will install all of the fonts. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the listing brochure. The package comes with both the listing brochure and the sales package, but we're gonna do the listing brochure for the tutorial. Okay, here it is in publisher. So uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in your logo. So I'm gonna delete the logo that I have here. I'm gonna insert pictures. And then I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I have a little folder of my pictures right here. And here's a logo. So I'm just gonna replace that logo with mine right here. Now, obviously I want to use my logo um, colors instead of the aqua blue that comes with this. So I'm gonna select the box here for the aqua blue. I'm gonna hit the format button I'm going to hit the shape fill. Now um, I'm going to use the shape fill color, the sample color here, and I'm going to hit this. And that's automatically going to give me the color um, that is on the logo. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and select um, the other two remaining ones. I'm going to hit the orange button, and then I'm going to open up this. And so I'm just, uh, all I did was select it, and now it's going to open up this. I'm just going to uh, choose the orange and change out the aqua color to uh, the orange that's in my logo here. Now, for instance, if you don't have a second agent, you can go ahead and just delete this or delete this one, whichever one that you uh, feel like you would rather do. Uh, you can go ahead and change all of this text in here and uh, let's go ahead and change out this picture. So I'm gonna click on the picture I have right here. I'm gonna hit change picture <coughs> from a file and uh, here is another exterior picture. So if it's not quite right, you can see it's kind of a weirdly cropped. So I'm just going to, what I did is I clicked on the picture button and uh, it will automatically open any format pictures. And I clicked on the crop button. So um, all I'm doing is I'm moving it. So I'm just, uh, the little guy in here, the little crossbars here, I'm just gonna grab the image with my mouse. I'm just gonna move it up so that I can see a little bit more of the landscaping. And uh, from there, you know, you can just go ahead and uh, change out the, the information. And the same uh, situation right here, I'm just going to select this stuff. I'm going to, uh, actually I'm not gonna make it a little bit easier on me. I'm gonna shape fill this and I'm going to delete the footer. And I'm going to copy this footer, copy, and I'm just going to paste it. So uh, every single one of the footers, you can just go ahead and go in here and uh, paste it. So once you have it in there, I mean, once you, you know, hit save, uh, you'll never have to do that again. So it's just a matter of doing it the first time to, uh, to get your contact information and the colors the way that you want it. And then uh, after that, you don't have to do this again. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a couple more, just so you can kind of see that it is easy. All I'm doing is selecting these shapes and hitting the orange button to get them the uh, logo orange. So now that I have most of them in, 
And uh, here's another blank area where I can add a photo. So I'm just gonna put in a picture, double click on it. And uh, I'll just choose one of the pictures here. And again, uh, it's not 100% exactly where I want it. So I'm just uh, grabbing it and I'm moving it up so you can kind of see that it's a cute farm there. And uh, another question I have a lot is the property photos. For instance, uh, for this property, I don't have, you know, uh, six photos for this property. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them just like that. And then I'm going to hit insert pictures and I'm going to insert the ones that I have. So I'm going to put that one in there. I'm going to put this one in there. And uh, to make them fit, I'm just going to hit this crop button right here. I'm going to bring it up to about midpoint. I'm going to select this one, hit this crop button, and I'm going to hit this one. And then just get them to a point where I like how they look. And so you can do this uh, with any number of pictures, really. You're just going to insert in the pictures and uh, play with them until you like it. Uh, aerial map and uh, street map, things like this. What I usually suggest using is like uh, your favorite mapping program. For instance, I'll use, you know, Google Earth and um, <clears throat> whenever it decides to load, you can just kind of go in there. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and uh, you can add labels as you need to. So let's do Las Vegas, Nevada here. We will zoom in all the way. And let's say uh, this is my property right here. So if, uh, for instance, this lot right here was my property, I would just, uh, just open it up here. I'm hitting the print screen button on my keyboard. <clears throat> now I'm going directly into uh, aerial maps. I'm just going to delete that and uh, I'm going to go to uh, paste. Now the first thing I'm going to do with this is uh, I am going to go to format and crop. And so I'm just going to crop around here. As you can see, I have two screens, I have two monitors. So there we go. All right, so now I have an aerial map and you know, you can just uh, use the crop tool to get it to a point where, um, where you like the shape of it. And then I have these handy little things right here. So, uh, so it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna take this subject, I'm just going to uh, click on it, I'm gonna hit copy, I'm gonna hit paste, and voila. And now I'm gonna hit uh, insert shapes, and then I'm going to uh, choose the make your own shape, which is this guy on the very, very end, it's called freeform. I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm just gonna go click, 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 click. And then uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set no fill, and then I'm going to uh, choose the shape outline. And if you wanted the shape outline to be a little bit thicker or thinner, you can go in here. So all I did was hit shape outline, wait, and then um, I just chose a different one. So that's kind of how you can do uh, these aerial maps and uh, just, uh, you know, make them look nice there. Uh, the same thing with the street map. Uh, you'll just uh, take a screenshot. You'll pull one of these subjects over place it directly onto your subject and uh, that'll be your street map. So, and then here is a, a kind of catch-all page where you can uh, make as many as you want. So I'll show you how to uh, duplicate this page. So for instance, if you have floor plan, site map, and demographics, you can just uh, right click here. You're gonna hit insert duplicate page. And so, you know, this one, I'm gonna make it my floor plan. this one I'm gonna make it my site map and insert another one this one I'm gonna make it my 
demographics. So you can make as many of these as you need to. So if you need rent rolls, anything like that, uh, just uh, you know, right click, duplicate page, change out the title, and then add whatever content that you need in the middle. And then when you're ready to uh, PDF it and put it on LoopNet or whatever, uh, you can go, what I did here is I did file, I hit uh, save as, and then I'm gonna choose where I'm going to put it here. Listing brochure, name. And then um, save as type, I'm gonna choose PDF. And there's some other options here too. So uh, high quality is where it automatically goes to. But if you need a smaller, uh, if you need something smaller, you can do standard or a minimum size. I usually leave it on high quality. And then we're just gonna hit save here. So um, interesting information. Uh, sometimes uh, that does not work, especially if you don't have um, Adobe Acrobat installed on your computer. A workaround for that is, uh, so if save as and then choosing a PDF does not work, you can hit export. Uh, and then you can create PDF right here. And uh, that'll pretty much do the same thing. And then it'll be the same thing where you can choose a different, uh, you can choose a different kind of PDF, but uh, publish. So if you don't have Acrobat on your system, that's how you do it. All right, that is it. Now uh, you have a PDF right here and another PDF right there. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to look at the original email that you sent, that you have and uh, give me a call or send me an email. I'd be happy to answer any further questions. Thank you very much.